Hello everyone, this is Kateri with Kateri's Crafty Ideas. Woo! -hoo. It's so nice to see you back. Um, well, in the chat, I guess. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a, a stock your stash today. And um, I thought since I brought this home from um, church, I haven't been there all year. This hung up all year and I wasn't even there. Um, <clears throat> but I thought we would make some things um, out of this one. And I believe we will start with this back page and I am going to do my wait a minute do my best now let's try again so I'm cutting right above the date or the month just to get the flowers. This is going to be a fairly easy um, um, project to do, I would think. I um, hate seeing these go to waste, so using them as ephemera <clears throat> in your journals or art projects or art journaling um, you could do it in birthday cards you can use them there's all kinds of different things you can do with these so I thought we would kind of play around today and I thought I had one of these that was crooked, but I don't see it. So, <clears throat> and some of these, like this here, you could actually keep this and use this um, in a project from where I tore it. So there's like a whole line right here that I could use and a thin line or widen it as you come up. <clears throat> That's what we always say is um, you don't want to throw away your packaging when you purchase, you know, ephemera um, because the back of the packaging is really pretty cool. So you can just about use all of your um, whatever you buy. Say, for instance, you buy, um, gosh, I'm trying to think, something that's got, um, acetate on it, and acetate is the, um, for those of you that don't know, is the, um, hard, clear plastic, I mean, you could <clears throat> cut that down and you could actually use it as a um, um, shaker or you could put a picture behind it and then put a frame around it and it'll look like you have an actual picture frame. And then the back um, can be used for ATCs or... Um, um, tags, whatever, whatever you want to use it on. So, got one more to cut up here. So, I am so, so happy the warmer weather is here. Sun's out today. It's 61, I think, here. And, um, yeah, I'm just super looking forward to um, spring. Some of my flowers are coming up already. So I saw those popping up. 
So, super happy. The leaves can't get on a trees fast enough. So, um, Maddie had uh, her sale <clears throat> last week. And, uh, man, she had so many awesome things for sale. And um, you really need to go to SpectrumArt.com and SpectrumArtCreations.com and check the store out because they have a lot of really cool um, things in the store. And I, you know, there's just things in there that you wouldn't think to look for. And it would be so, so awesome if you could. Um, Maddie puts an awful lot of effort into doing live sales. And she, you know, that's kind of uh, um, her, um, see, look at all of that. I can use this and you would never know that was snowflakes but I won't use the snowflake I'm just gonna cut up to this um, puts a lot of effort into putting that together more than anybody will ever know and it would just be awesome if uh, people could start going to the store and purchasing and um, just, you know, check it out. I mean, there's nobody out there that um, sells anything um, cheaper than, than she is. There might be, but she's, she just does her best to um, accommodate everyone and Sometimes I think she goes a little far, but that's my opinion. <clears throat> and I'm all, we're all guilty. I mean, I'm guilty of, of that. Um, God, you know what? I tell you, I have a husband that's retired and he's driving me insane. Retired? Retarded? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't I can't record anymore that um he's not coming in here for something. He just is being goofy. Goofy goofy. So I'm just trying to get the most out of this uh back here by utilizing as much as this as I can. So Here's a piece here that I actually could make a square out of or whatever. So, and here's a strip here. And we'll go ahead and use this up here. Who knows? You never know when I'll pop up using it. All right, so these are the backs. Those little, look at that. All of these little awesome pictures, the same type deal on Stamperia. Um, when they have all of the little pictures on the front or the back, you need to cut those out. You can use those. So, I think that's, nope, there's one more. Right? Yeah. Nope, there's another one. You're, you're hiding, you're hiding. Come back. So it's another Hummer. I love my Hummers. Okay, so my dog's barking. I hope you can't hear him. Anyway, so we have these. And what I am going to do, um, I am going to put little holes in them somewhere I have I have an idea I have an idea 
I really, really do. Let's do this one. Here's my big hole. So we are going to pop that in there. Let's use this one. I'm looking to see what I have. I'm trying to see where there's a big enough area to put <clears throat> um, my hole in. All right, there's three of those. So now I have this little um, hole reinforcer. So, hmm, wonder what I'm gonna do with this. I really can't see that, but it's. So there's one, so I can stick that on there. Why don't we try sticking that on this one? Ooh, it kind of covers up the butterfly. Okay, so see, I just got this in the mail. And how do you get the paper out? That's weird. I guess you just have to have a, a bigger piece than what I... So we'll use, I guess we're going to use that on there. Pull that up right there. So I have two. This one hopefully will be a little bit easier. So I need, I guess I need one more. You would think... Really? Oh, I see how that works. Wow, that is so weird because that little piece gets stuck in there. Okay, how do, how do I release this without it getting messed up? Oh, it's called Get This. Alrighty. Let me see something. doesn't show you I thought maybe it would open up but it doesn't show you so anyway I got three of the whole reinforcers there so let's get a few of these and glue them on and when and and then we'll do the next step I don't get it I don't get it how can this be clogged when I've had my pin in there for a while? Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't get it. I tell you. Oh. I'm not playing today, let me tell you. I could understand this if I didn't have my pen in there. And I just cleaned this out too. Opened it up and cleaned it. Alright, so there's one. Kind of anxious to see how this will... Trying to spread that glob out because there was a lot in that one little area. Okay. There's another glob. You just don't need a whole lot on here. So I'm going to make... Um, you may have to... <clears throat> you may have to check my... Um, 
Facebook page to see how I finish this. Um, or maybe I'll decorate one and then I'll do what I want to do. But, um, yeah. So, with this one, some of these, I want to move over to get... Um, trying to get... I just love this one. It's so cute. Can you see it? It's a beautiful um, tulip. All right, there's that one and my bird. Let's do the let's do the sunflower here. We'll go over here. There's one there. All right, there's three of those. I'm just trying to do maybe a couple of different ideas. Um, let's see, I've got two flowers. I'll do two birds. So I'll do one of the hummingbirds. Okay. I'll leave those up there. So I have four. And I need I need my alright, let's hold on just a second. In there. Well, here, turn around. Okay. So I want to see really quick. I haven't been in this one for quite a while. And I want to see if there's any. These are all pretty big eyelets that I don't use. So I don't think. I don't think there's. These are all just way too big and. There's designs in there that I will never use. So, we'll go to this one. I love the small eyelets. So, what's that doing in here? Golly, isn't it weird how you just find weird stuff in the oddest places? Okay, so I have... Oh, come back here. Come back, come back. Uh, I have this. I wonder if I want to. Yeah, I think that'll work on that one. So let's close that up. And there is purple on this hummingbird. And there's several different colors. So let's use this one. Oh yeah, that matches awesome with that. Ow! Pinched in my finger. So I want to use maybe some kind of a. Let's see what the green. Green. I don't know. It's the wrong kind of green. I really don't. I don't like it that to green. Let's see if I have a brown. Brown, brown. Here's this color. I don't have a brown. I should get some brown. All right. Okay, that goes really well with the... Um, Yeah, mm-hmm, sunflower. All right, so we have this beautiful one right here. And I think I'll just go ahead and look for something in this pinky red, which I don't see. 
This is red, red. I don't want that. That's orange. I don't think. This is, this is, uh, I don't, this isn't going to go. I can already tell you it's not. It's just, you know what, there's another one. Let's use, and I don't think this is going to work either. What the heck? That's two of them together. I know there's orange in the background of that. I guess that looks good. Because there's orange in the back, but the flower is not. And it's kind of not. It's an orange, but it's not. It's not. Okay. So, we will push these on here. Just using my crook dial. Oh, what I, oh, no, 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 no. What happened? What? See if I can fix that. I don't know how that happened. It slid out of there. Oh, it still looks good. That was messed up. Put that in there. Put this down here. That looks good. I better squeeze that just a tad bit more. Day. I can't be playing around with you if you're going to fall off. Oh! Yeah, I know. You guys are laughing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. What in the heck is going on here? I know that's the right way. This isn't, um, it's not squeezing right. Let's see if this one's any better. That one did. Let's try it again. I don't think that one's going to go anymore. That one's fine. Okay. So we have these four. I don't know if you could tell what I'm going to do. This one is going to be a little bit different. Let me see something. I want to try something. Um, that's too big. I want a black. These are almost too big. Here's some tinier ones. Let's use this one. I bet the hole's, oh, the hole's big. Oh, I can't do what I wanted to do. Ew, darn it. I think these are just going to be too, too big. Too big. Oh, no, it doesn't look bad. All right. So we're going to stick this on the back of this one. Since I have it, you might as well use it. If you can get it on there. Okay, so I have to change this to this one and this to this. All right, let's try it.
There you go. So I guess that looks good. I just want to try something a little bit different there. I actually was thinking about his head, but I forgot I made that that um, hole bigger. So, okay. So, now, um, oh my goodness. I don't know. So my glue was oozing out of my bottle when I don't need it to do that. Sheesh. Um, so. <clears throat> we can do several different things here with these. Let's try... I don't know if I want that one or this one. This one I think is going to be better. And so I can put that on there. I'll put one on each one of these for now. I might put this one on here because it's pretty. It's very pretty. All right, so there's that. So we could eventually hang them like that. So um, the other thing that I need to do here, and I think I have this I've got some digis here that I ran off today and I'm going to use the white excess white for the backs of these and you will see what I will make of this I don't know how many I probably can get two out of this what a bummer but I, I could also utilize what I've got here, so it doesn't have to cover the whole back. So I could use that. And this one. And this. Okay, so we, well, I can feel that sun coming in here. Woohoo! It is hot. It is hot. Well, I don't know why I turned that around because I don't need to do that. So I'm going to make this a paper clip, and I bet it's too long. Yep, because I have to hide, well, you know what, yeah, I'm going to hide the paper clip, so that means I have to move it down just a little bit. And I want to get my tacky glue. And when I, um, I, I learned learned this from Shell Radcliffe but which is a really smart thing to do um, when you do your paper clips there is a long side and a short side so you want I'll show you so this is your short side right here and this is your big one so you want to make sure that it's the short side that you put glue on 
and the longer side is the one that you will slide over um, your paper clip. So just, and I put it, you know, all around that paper clip because that's what's going to hit that paper right there on the back of the, what you're gluing it to. It looks like there's a ton on there, but there really is enough that it should hold on to this. So I'm just hiding it just below the cut line. And you want to also make sure that wherever, like say for instance, um, I have this one. And this little hole is on this side. So I think when I do this one, I'm going to do it sideways. That way it can be pinned on the side of a page. And it will dangle that way instead of over the top. So, this is the side. Is that right? No, I turn it around. Okay, so we want it to go this way. Alrighty. sure you get it back far enough that you can't see it. All right, so there's that one. And I need to trim it just a tad bit. All right, let's let that one dry for a minute. And this one. Now, let's do this one. Um, I think we'll do this on this side. Come on, get on there. Trying to hurry here. Okay, and I didn't cut this down beforehand, darn it. Oh well, I, I'll be fine. So, just push it down really well, make sure the clip in the back is touching the paper really well. Try not to get any glue on your, on your photo area. like these. Let me push that down a little better. Okay, and here's one more. And I don't want this one this big because I don't want it to cover my hole. So I'll just cut it down a little bit. And we're going to make it a little bit shorter. So, I guess, I don't know, I guess I'm going to do this one from the top. Let's do that. I'll straighten that up before I finish, because I know it's crooked. Alright. 
All right, there's another one. So now I have just this one left. And this is, let's see, the Cardinal. And he's, how do I want to do him? From the top. Ooh, almost put that in my mouth, take the lid off. And the lid was already off, I'd have had a mouthful of glue. I didn't poke a hole in this one. I better move that over just a little bit. I really missed this one, didn't I? Or was I... No, oh, yeah, I missed it. Okay, let's clean this off. And put the lid on. So it'll quit oozing out. Um, very cute. All right, let's, 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 let's. Maybe I will do some videos on what we can do with our old calendars. Okay, let me... Get a hole in here. I better put it this way. And let's put a red one on there since we have a red cardinal. And for those of you that's not seen this little box before, this came from um, <laughs> let me think. Somebody told me one time and I said, oh yeah, that's right. Um, it's not Tractor Supply. It's, what's the name of that place? I'll think of it and I'll let you know because they're really kind of inexpensive they really don't cost that much to get like six bucks It's in there. All right. So now um, what I want to do <laughs> is to get maybe some seed beads here for now because I have, I think I've got plenty of colors I can use. And I want, um, I want these. Let's see, this one and this one and this. Okay. I don't know that I'll need that, but I have it if I want it. Oh my goodness, it's getting hot in here. Okay. So I've got... Some little chain in here someplace. What, let's see, this one's got this on it. Right here. So this is part of an old necklace. Um, or a necklace, should I say. And 
I try to match whatever chain I've got to um, what I, what bulb pins I'm using. Oh, let's see. Here's some. Yeah. Okay. What's that say? Class tools, 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 wire. Okay. So. Don't need that. And I may end up switching that out if I can't find any rose gold, which gold would look fine on there um, anyway. And I can't add anything to that. Okay, so. All right. So let's switch this out to maybe, yeah, I'll just put a, a gold on it. That way I know I've got plenty of gold. I need some, I need, guess I need to look for rose gold chain, but I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know. You know what? I don't even know what I'm thinking of because I'm not putting I'm not putting chain on that one. I'm going to put chain on this one and I think I think I'm going to do just silver on this one. Let's put that up. I saw the silver um Ball, or the gold ball pin I thought oh I need that chain so I am going to open up um, one of these using two flat nose and I should be able this is a big enough ring that I'll just stick it through there And kind of twist it right back onto itself. Yeah. Where's my little scissors? What's that? Oh, my neighbor's walking his granddaughter. I'm going to round this off a little. So the ring won't get stuck on it. So it moves. And I am going... I should have thought of this earlier, but I didn't. <sighs> I'm just getting back into doing videos again, so forgive me. Um, now I have no workspace because I've surrounded myself with metals and beads and who knows what else. Okay, so I have a chain on that one. We are going to use a chain on this. So I think I want plenty of chain, so um, I haven't yet decided how I'm going to work this one. Come on, just open up. I don't know if I want to make it. Oh, that's not big enough. Um, close this back up. No, I need a, I need a, um, where's my jump ring? I need a jump ring. And I can use this one right here. And then I'll close that up. When you, when you work with your wire, you put, um, I always, well, I'll just show you. So I put my uh, needle nose, flat nose plier on one side and put it on another side. One goes 
away from you and the other one comes at you and then you can um, um, add on it whatever you want to add so I had to use a bigger jump ring and then all you do is put it back on there and move it right back into place you don't want to pull them apart like this they need to go like this or this okay so now I have that this is going to be I can actually put um, some chain on this one because I think I actually have see I have this I love this this is like a necklace there was something on it but I think it's so cool so we are going to find the jump ring and I'm going to utilize this jump ring I hope yes I can um, so we'll take that off okay I'll close this back up and then I think I'm going to come down about this far and I got a this is a really um, cool chain but I don't see I don't see where it comes apart let me use this Yeah, I don't see it there. Ow. Oh, here it is. I see it now. It's right there. Well, I thought maybe there isn't. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to do this. Just gonna. I was gonna try to cut it. Okay. So we are going to have to throw that one away. And then I'll get another jump ring. Does that move up and down? Yep. That is so weird. Where'd that jump ring go? Where'd it go, you guys? It's right here. This one may not fit. That's an awfully small little area. I don't think it's going to fit there. I think it is. Oh, it did fit. I'll show you what this chain looks like. It's It's got a loop. The loop is flattened. The loop is flattened um like the the jump ring they made it oblong then they flattened both sides and then those little balls that you see there those actually move up and down crazy so i am going to put that on here and we will start adding some little fun things to that yep 
and I need these out of here. jump rings to slide into a few of these there's one I'll just fold these back I don't normally like to do that I like to just open them one time but Well, so we'll put this up here. Throw this over here. Um, I just heard something. get down here to the bottom where the other pins are at. Alright, we'll just use some of these. They're dark. What's that one? Nope, don't want you. Here's a, oh, I use silver. I want silver. Okay, I know I don't need all of those, but I have them so now I need these that's not one I want and let's put these up here and let's work off of this one for now see what do I have I have orange greens and purple I don't have any I don't, yeah I did have orange here's purple so here is so these pins um, these are flat flat head pins or whatever they call them um, I need one of these. I didn't bring any out. We'll put this on. And then one little purple. Bluish purple. Let's see how that is. Do I have an orange? There's an orange. Let's add our orange. It's a... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. How many minutes? Oh my god, you guys. This is so, so wrong. Oh, here's an orange. I couldn't get it. Alright, so here's an orange. So we have that. So what I am going to do now is hold on to this. Well, now I'm going to hold on to this. And I'm going to cut enough off of this or I can bend it down Oops, pick up the wrong ones so you got to have your round nose pliers to make um, a closure on here like that and then where I had that one that I opened and closed. We'll just open it just a little bit. No wrong pliers. If you use round nose pliers doing this, they'll fall off every time. So you really need, you need your flat nose for things like this, your round nose for making, you know, your round um, closures. 
Okay, so there's that. So there's one. Let's. Here's another flat one. Let's try another little dangle. See if I can't get an orange or two out of here. Yeah, I did. Can you believe it? Amazing. And I want purple. I think I'm just going to do just straight bead on these. And there's a green in this. Let's try a green out of here because they're pretty cool. Right here. Alrighty, so okay. I usually do about maybe a little less than a half an inch. Take your round nose pliers, stick the very end of it in there, and just start turning. Let go, come back, and then turn again. Yeah. So. Let's get a jump ring and open them up. Slide this on here and let's find a spot to put this one on. Come on. Dude, it doesn't want to go in there, you guys. I know it'll go in. see this. I don't know why it won't go in. The other one did. It went in just fine. There isn't even anything there. Alright, I'm going to try this. There, I got it. Okay, so there's that. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I've got a little jump ring down here. I'm going to take it off at the end, and I'm going to move it up and put a bead on it, I hope. I hope, but to do that, I have to make put it on here first because I'm not going to fiddle around with it. Okay, so I have the I have a purple bead. I may have to open. Yeah, I'm going to have to open this up a little bit more. Okay, where'd you go? You know what, I think I'm going to put this silver looking thing on here. Oh no, it's too big. Oh no! Ooh, that little tiny one fit on there. Let's try this one. Boy, little tiny beads are super hard to play or mess around with. I'm not going to get that on there. I'm surprised the first one went on. See, look at that. It's falling out of my hands three times. 
Okay, let's see about this. All right, too bad. You're just going to have to stay off. All right, so there's one little bead on that jump ring. So I'm not going to do a whole lot on that, but that gives you an idea. Um, you can take this jump ring and put it up here if you want, but I think it'll hang better. I like this. Um, I might even decide to put some little charm down here. So there's one. And I want to throw this away. Okay. So like on this one, I can make this one super easy by looking at the colors that are... I need to turn this bulb pin around. What is that? Oh. Um, so I can get my beads on here. So we have that kind of an orangey pink, pinky color. So, um, and I've got a green. So I think I have a bead in here that's kind of a, um, hasn't been polished all the way. And I really think this orange or do I want to go that pink color we'll see I don't know I think this is not going to work no because that's kind of a purple I need one that oh here's one let's see about this oh my gosh that is too perfect Oh my goodness. Hmm. That's pretty neat. So I'll do that. And then let's see. Let's add some. Um, no, that's not going to go. You have to go here. Um, I want to add a little bit more interest to this. So that'll hang down like that. Let's play. Let's play. So I have have a lot of gold pins here, but I don't. Where's my? I don't know if they're all round. Oh no, here's the flat, flat heads. I don't want to waste these babies. All right, so let's see if I can find another one of those because I have no clue where that came from, that bead. That's orange, orange. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that might be. <clears throat> I see where it came from right here. Came out of here. I think, unless you're in the wrong place. And we're going to use this one. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Um, oh my gosh, the sun's coming in here. It's in my eyes. I can't see. I'm not complaining. Oh no, that was two. I don't want two of those together. Okay, come out. 
So that would be four. All right, let's try this. And I never throw these uh, little pieces away because um, I, I always use them. All right, so I made a complete circle on that. So what I'm going to do now is take these off, put this green one on behind it. Whoops. Then this, and then this. There. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not what I thought. All right, so I'm taking it off. You can come off. All right, let's not use that. Let's get a jump ring. And I'll put a bigger jump ring on here. You can always change your mind. All right, open that. This. Come on. And then this one. Well, oh my gosh, it isn't that hard. I put the other two on. All right, so I got all, th all of that on there. So I got that closed up. So I can either put that over on both sides or one. So let's get to another jump ring. this on here oh my gosh I have no patience for stuff that doesn't work right okay we'll put that on there this is much better okay so before I do that I want a I want a gold. Oh my gosh, you guys, no. Oh. Put you back on here. Okay, so here's this one. So it's just something tiny. Doesn't have to be super big, but yet it's a paper clip. So it's not real bulky um, in your journal and it slides on the page. I like it. And I'll go around and distress the edges of this, but like I told you, these aren't done. I have to, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do um, I'll show you what I'm going to do to finish them off. So, since we are already in an hour and nine minutes again, I will go ahead and, um, show you what I'm going to do to finish maybe some, but not all put these rings back in there so I don't lose them. Um, 
I don't know why, but um, everything is sticking to my scissors. They shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so there's that. I guess I'll just stick all, all of this over here for now. So, let's pick one that I'm, I'll do this one now, but I thought I would put my Nubo Crystal Drops on here. I'm just going to go around the edge. I thought this would look really cool. And then I'll just fill it in. Trying to continuously squeeze the bottle so I don't get any air bubbles. Shaking. Trying to fill in where I can see I've missed. It's almost kind of hard to see it. So I used this, I think, in the other. I mean, you, you've got it, you might as well use it. There, see, there's an empty spot right there. So, it's all covered. Oh, it looks so nice. That looks really cool. Awesome. So, these have chain. These are ready to go. And these, now that I've got it decorated, I kind of wanted to show you what it would look like if you decorated a couple of these. And then I wanted to show you the last step. So, or I can take the rings off and do these and then I can um, put them back on too. So, yeah. But anyway, that is what, I, um, what I've, I'm doing with the backs. You know, the little, it's the same pictures that you have in the big picture. But wait until you see what I'm going to do to the big pictures because I had a brilliant, a brilliant idea. Ha ha. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's going to think of this. But anyway, so we are going to let you go. I hope everybody has a blessed day. And thank you so much for coming and joining me. And we'll talk at you next time. Bye bye.